Michael Cohen, the president's former attorney, gets his sentencing. Fox News correspondent Ray Bogan is in Washington with the latest. Today we learn that Michael Cohen, the man who once said he'd take a bullet for the president, is headed to jail, even after reaching a plea deal with federal prosecutors. Now there's debate as to what today's sentencing could mean for President Trump. Michael Cohen, the president's former lawyer and so-called fixer, walks out of New York federal court sentenced to three years in prison after pleading guilty to various crimes including campaign finance violations, tax evasion, and lying to Congress. The U.S. District Judge ruling the 52-year-old deserved modest credit for his decision over the summer to admit guilt and cooperate in the special counsel's investigation, but adding his assistance does not wipe the slate clean. Where this goes from here remains to be seen. Uh, I suspect he has far, far more things to talk about. Cohen told authorities Mr. Trump directed him to pay two women, Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal, ahead of Election Day two years ago in an effort to keep them quiet about sexual relationships, allegations Mr. Trump denies. On Twitter this week, President Trump dismissed allegations any such payments violated campaign finance law, arguing if he broke the law, it was his lawyer's liability, not his. Still, some top Democrats say the president could soon face impeachment if the accusations against him are proven true. Others disagree. Remember, the Constitution requires treason, bribery, other high crimes and misdemeanors. The most they've come up with is a very, very questionable campaign contribution issue. The judge also ruled that Cohen will have to pay nearly $2 million as part of his sentencing. He is due to surrender to prison on March 6th. In Washington, Ray Bogan, Fox News.